Yeah, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Today, I want to talk about aggressive strats. Oh, there's nothing more exciting than playing aggressively. Aggressive play isn't as straightforward as it seems, however, and many players end up back in the garage sooner than they expected. Let's get a couple of things cleared first. Aggressive play isn't about yellow rushes or any silly things like that. It's actually far more calculated than that. And in order to pull it off, you need to understand quite a few things. For aggressive play to work effectively, it is vitally important that you know the maps. And I really can't emphasize that enough. To play aggressively, you need to understand where to put your tank what cover you have around you, and where your push and exit routes are. Without knowing the maps and without knowing these fundamentals, you will find yourself stuck, either out in the open or in a position, allowing the enemy to counter push you. Nobody wants that. You also need to understand the enemy lineup, and you need to try to anticipate where they're most likely going to go. In this game on Black Goldville, my toon mate, Elysium and myself have taken very dominant positions not overly forward but certainly able to put pressure upon the enemy and prevent them from making any significant moves yes we may be losing a little bit of hit points but look they've already lost three tanks and this is the thing about aggressive play it's all about map control now, map control is the key to any aggressive playstyle. In fact, it's really the key to winning any game. Without map control, you're automatically on the back foot. And unless you're one of those players who is able to carry those big games, you will end up losing. Map control is exactly what it says on the tin. You control the map. You deny the enemy momentum and you put so much pressure on the enemy that they end up playing your game, not their game. This is exactly what has happened here. Because we controlled the map, the enemy is clutching its straws, trying to find a way to get back into the game. All the time we were able to exert pressure on them, isolate their tanks and contain them. We had a much easier game here. It was easier because we were able to focus fire more effectively, and to, to manoeuvre our tanks into those positions without too much difficulty. I like aggressive play. It's exciting and it's exhilarating. Thing is, don't forget, aggressive play is high risk and high reward. So in order to improve your skills in aggressive play, you need to jump into a platoon first. Jumping into a platoon helps you massively in learning aggressive play. And getting it right, you're able to coordinate, you're able to focus fire, and to an extent, you're at least able to control some part of your team. Trying to go aggressive in solo takes a lot of skill, because most of the time your team is not comfortable with you being aggressive or with the team being aggressive, especially if they're newer players, who generally tend to be either A, more passive, or B, ultra aggressive aka the yolo monsters as i said aggressive play isn't about yoloing into the enemy unlike what the 50b did on the enemy team it's about calculated power positions and applying pressure in the right place aggressive play is about slowly squeezing the hp out of the enemy pushing them back containing them and when the time is right pushing forward. You can see in both these games we ended up taking the battle into the enemy spawn. We deny them any control of the map and any forward movement. This totally disrupts their fluency because they're essentially overwhelmed and end up just firefighting. This is the entire purpose of aggressive play and once you understand it it will allow you to bring some of the OP moves into your overall game. Thing is, aggressive play doesn't come naturally. You may think it does, but actually it doesn't. And 
It takes a lot of effort and understanding before you can master being an aggressive player. Once you have mastered it, you have a formidable weapon in your arsenal. Something that overwhelms the enemy and something that a lot of the enemy is able to, is unable to counter. And as you've seen here, I mean, we have whitewashed this team and we whitewashed the other team. And don't misunderstand me. It's not because the teams are bad. They're not. You know, there's some decent players out there in these teams. But they just can't deal with the aggressive strat that we're playing. And as I said in many of my videos, it's not about getting those ace masteries or whatever you are aiming for. It's about winning games. So I'm not setting the world on fire in these games, far from it. But what we are doing, we are controlling the map and really putting the enemy on the back foot. Now in this game here on Canyon, I'm gonna show you how aggressive stats really turn the tide. So the enemy have put their tanks, you've got the T62 right over in the corner there where the, uh, where the ACAP normally is. The T92 is on the middle. We are therefore gonna push right into their spawn. We're just gonna go super aggressive. We have the tanks on this side. I've got my toonmate Elysium who's playing the two shot yo and I'm playing the three shot yo. And you know, you can see our bat chat is coming in. And now this poor crown wagon is gonna be completely overwhelmed. That means the T62A, which was over at the ACAP, is now I have to push all the way around. Their E100s, their two super heavies, are literally stuck scratching their heads in the middle of the map because their T92 went over there to get those spots. We are now able to pinch the enemy, contain them in their own spawn, and basically we get a free ride here. I'm not too interested in the waffle track to taking my HP. And we are just pummeling this poor old T62. So he's gone down. They've lost three tanks already. Okay, we've lost two. But they've lost their mediums. They've got three heavies and a TD left. I'm not interested in the Waffle Tractor. I'm interested in the IS-7. And my teammate is also not interested in the Waffle Tractor. He's also interested in the IS-7. We want him out the game. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to focus him. And he's doing the right thing. He's trying to back away. But he's losing hit points rapidly. And this is what I mean about map control. The enemy have nowhere to go. They've literally got nothing they can do to counter this. And, you know, we're losing tanks, they're losing tanks, they're now going to lose another heavy. They've only got two heavies left, the two E100s, that were caught short in the middle. This is map control. This is aggressive play style. And as you can see, we haven't yellowed in, we haven't taken unnecessary risks. It's been cool, calm, and calculated. And this is the benefits that you then reap when you can start to understand this style of gameplay. It's not passive. It's fast and it's furious, and it really does put you in the driving seat. Anyway, I've been Fujit. I hope that has been useful. Um, I mean, I see a lot of players trying to play aggressively and just failing miserably because they just YOLO. Hopefully these little tips will help you sort of calm down a little bit and learn how to play more aggressively. Anyway, I'd love to hear your comments and everything below. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.